in this angular series we have already covered all the most important features of angular framework so now we are going to work on our e-commerce so in this video we are going to create the category and subcategory which we have already created but we are going to modify it and make it an e-commerce application hey everyone this is kamran and in this video series i am creating an e-commerce application using angular framework so if you are new here i will suggest you to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button as well so that you will always be updated with my all new videos on e angular as well as other js frameworks so let's now get started on the category and subcategory. So we have already created these modules in, in the user modules. We have created two of the components category and subcategory. So let's get into the category. So here I'm going to make some changes and I'm going to display all the categories over here. So how our e-commerce will look like. So on the first page, I will be showing list of categories and then on the click of in any of the category we will open up list of subcategories and similarly on in the subcategories when we click on any of the subcategory we will open the list of product and the product will will route us to the product detail page so this e-commerce will be the simplest e-commerce you will ever see and for, for now we are going to use some static data and then we are going to move that static data to api data but we will cover that in, in some other video for now we are going to just use some static data and i'm going to share this whole application with you at the end of this video series so if you want to look at the code you can do that so um, first i'm going to add the data for the categories so let's create a new file over here name as category data.json so i'm going to create a new file over here which will be category.data.json this will contain our category data so i have already created some data which i'm going to paste inside this and this data i am going to use in our category file we are already using this ng4 uh, which i have demonstrated in one of the video you can check the video out to get the idea of this looping of our data so first I'm going to remove this button and I'm also going to remove these two names and I can rename it as a categories. So that will show us the list of categories. So first we are going to update our uh, this variable. So let's see this variable inside there. So here for loop variable is just an array which we are going to change to this data JSON. Now let's try to import this category JSON. So for that we are going to use import star as category data from and we have to pass the path of that json file so this json file now i'm going to update this category data to this for loop data so that we can't do directly we have to write it as category data as any and we have to say dot default and this for loop data we can update this variable as categories so we will say that this is categories and this we have to update in html file as well so update this and this also we can end element we can update as category in this category we can pass this as a name now we can remove these router links we don't want this over here uh, we have this categories and inside that we will loop the card with categories so let's try to update this app card uh, with category so instead of name we will pass this as a data this we have to update in our card html in this card component we have input as a name so we will replace that with data and this will be any and we will keep this as an empty object by default and in the html file also we have to update this name and name will be data dot name as in the data json we have a name as a key and we can remove rest of the things from here so this child component we can update as a category and now let's see the output on the browser so in the browser we can see we have this category fashion electronics home decor and stationery which is the data in our json file so instead of showing this as a vertical cards we will show this as a horizontal cards similar to what we see in the most of the e-commerce websites for that we have to update our card json so to change the view of these cards from the row column to row we are going to update some css in the parent component so here parent component is our category html so we will wrap this app card inside a div so, and in this video div, we are going to add some class and then we are going to apply some css on this class 
so we will re rename these two categories and this two category so now in the css file we are just going to rename this as well as a category and then i'm going to add a new category which will be display uh, and this we can display in a flex and flex direction will be row and this category will be width of 100 percent so let's give that 100 percent and inside that we are going to add a new class as card and card and this will be width of 25 percent so each card will cover the 25 percent of this 100 percent and this card we have to pass as an class over here uh, so let's add that add class so now output will look like something this we have removed the background color of the card as well so now we have some image for the each category we are going to display that as well so in this category data we also have the image for each category so we can display that image over here so image and we have to pass the source and this source will be in and we have to pass that source url from the data so that will be double double traces and the data dot image and we can close this so now we have to pass another class in this which will be image and this we have to give 100 percent width and it, it should not go outside this card so that's why we are going to say image and this should be width 100 percent so in the output you can see now we, we have this all the image as well so let's text align the center in the middle and we are good to go for the categories uh, so here we will add text align as center and now we can close this css file and now from here on the click of this card we have to route to this subcategory so here we are going to add the router link and in the output we have to pass a data dot link so we have to pass the link in the data for json so that it will route to that particular link so now in the category json we have to add a link as well so here add a link which will be sub category and we have to add this in every object so on the browser once i click on this i will be redirected to the sub category so, so in the sub category page as well we have to list down the sub categories let's do that let's close all the card component files and here similar to category we have to add the subcategory data.json as well so i have the sub subcategory data.json as well so i will add that sub category dot data dot json and inside that i'm going to add some data in this also we have to pass some link which we'll add later so we have to add the same thing in this subcategory component ts as well so now i have imported this json file and then i have updated that into subcategories and now i am going to update the html file with the same kind of html now this subcategory file is also updated just don't forget to update the css file as well so in this subcategory you can see that we have this shirt t-shirt jeans and watches so we have this category over here which we can remove so let's remove this so let's remove this from the card for html and we can give some height to this image so that all cards look alike so height 400 pixels so now you can see we have these cards of subcategory so again going back to this we have categories once i click on the fashion i have this shirt t-shirt jeans and watches now here we can see that on the click of any category we are opening the same subcategory page but that should not be the case right so how we are going to differentiate between the categories so for that we are going to use the id of the f category and we are going to get the subcategories of that particular id only now let's create a product list page which will be similar to category and subcategory list page and then we are going to create our product detail page so first now we are going to create the component for which we are going to use the command of ng and we are going to give the path of the product list details right so here we are going to create a component inside a module user so first component which i am going to create is products where we i will be listing all the products and then we are going to create another component which will be the product which will be the detail of the product so just i am going to remove that as and create a new component 
and again i'm going to just serve this application and and then in the code we can see we have two different components over here so we can just copy paste the category code content into this product and then we the list of the product will be working and then we can work on the product so first create a product.data.json like this and update the values over here so here i can say shirt one and link will be the product so i will remove all the other categories and then i'm going to just copy paste the product again and again and update the content so here is your products data which will be the list of products in your application and similarly you have to update the component ts as well as the html file for the product list and also we have to add a new route in the user routing module for the product so you just have to add a new route over here which will be an object and this will be the products and we have to show the products component over here so let's first import that uh, import from components products and product dots component and here we have to import the product component and we just have to pass this component over here in component so component and name of the component now in the subcategory data we just have to check for the link uh, we haven't updated the link over here so we have to update that so from this subcategory we have to move to products right so we will pass name of a link as a products and we have to pass this in all the data so here on the output from the categories page we can just simply click and route to the subcategories and from the subcategories we can simply click on and get on the, the products page from here and now from the products page we have to get into the detail of each product so which we are going to develop right now so let's close everything over here and now just get into the our product component which is under the module user and components and product so here also first we are going to add some data the product data will be the object of one of the uh, products so let's add this over here and i'm going to add this over here save as product dot data dot json and this i'm going to import inside my ts file so let's import this over here and here i'm going to define a product variable which will be similar to products variable and here i'm just gonna pass any and this will be product data so this will be our product data over here and this i'm gonna display inside this product variable so this i can display as a single card so i can copy the html file from the card which is the component and i'm just gonna paste it over here i can remove this router link because i don't need to route to somewhere from there and this class can be product for me uh, product and i can display the image and then the link and name so instead of data we are going to use product so product dot image and product dot name that's it so here we can add more detail of the product and we can display that we can add size and you can add multiple data over here and display the same on the product html now before seeing the output let's define this route in our routing file so we are going to define a new path uh, which will be product right so for that we are going to use path as product and from product we are going to go to component product component and which we have to import so let's import that so now we have to check the links in our products json so this in the product json just we have to make sure this should be a product so on the outputs once i go to products and i click on one of the product it should route me to the product and product will contain an image and the name and the size of the product later on we can work on the css of each of the components and make it better but for now just to understand the functionality we are just simply going to display the content 
So in this next video, we are going to create some APIs and make a call to a backend and then get the data from the backend to display on the UI instead of using this data JSON files. Feel that you can practice to develop whatever we have developed till now. Just hit the subscribe button before leaving. Happy coding everyone. See you in the next video.